over the last three years, you've watched me and Gurf make Seeker Strength videos in our bedrooms, in home offices, now in our office, which we are very, very happy with. But once again, we've kind of overgrown the uh, the current space and we've got a new studio next door. Today's video is going to be building that new studio, kind of renovating the room, getting it set up and also making a little soundproof call room where we go on consultations.
Right, so it's day two. You can see the background wall is up. The main job for today is gonna to be making a call booth in here. So when we're calling clients in the normal office, it's obviously me and Gurf sitting at the same desk. So it's gonna be a lot easier if we have like a soundproof room to go into. We were gonna have a, a door going into the office from here, but this wall isn't weight bearing. So you can see up the top here, it's not weight bearing going into our office next door, but it isn't just like past plasterboard and, and stud partitions. It's some concrete wall and plasterboard and some partitions. So we're just not even gonna get involved in that. We'll put the door going in from here. It will actually help with the soundproofing into the office next door. It'll make our job a small bit easier and we'll just have to put some extra lighting in there. So we bought the door last week. I think we paid 20 euro for it. Just so happened that a family living in an apartment 20 yards from our office put the door up for sale. So that's what we're gonna do now. For this call boot and the reason this wall is kind of strange looking or it's out from the wall is basically there's this storage area in here that we can't get rid of so the last crowd who had this office and the guy who owns this building has an accountancy firm the accountants have to hold on to their records for a certain length of time and those records are in here so this can't close across to here what we're going to do instead is we're going to continue this wall out across here we'll make our little booth in there and then we'll have some sort of like a movable door or curtain we'll close this across it will all look nice and flush from the front and it'll be a lot easier for me to build the other big advantage of doing it like this and running the wall out flush here rather than running it out flush with the wall behind is that we now have power sockets in the room so less of the amateur electrician Dara Fitz will have to come out.
So we have the facing wall done up, or like this entry wall to the uh, to call booth. Next issue we have now is that we have to put in studs on this wall here. This is just like a plasterboard wall. We have an issue that we actually have in the other office, or we had in the other office when we were when we were doing it up. The issue is that these pipes, which you've now covered here, they're like old heating pipes run along the floor, so we can't put the studs directly down onto the floor. So we'll just have to notch the studs off. And once we have those notched off, we'll be able to slip them in here behind that pipe. And we have studs in contact with the ground. So we're now making the roof box, the ceiling for the call boot. One thing I'm gonna mention here, and I rarely give useful tips, but this is a useful tip. A lot of the time when people are making cuts on the same board, right? So one of these cuts is 1195, one is 114. A lot of the time people will mark a line. So I have all my boards marked here that I'm gonna cut. A lot of the time people will mark a line and then they'll estimate the kerf like the thickness of the blade of the saw or they won't estimate it at all and they'll just measure on again and they'll leave the nub up at the end of the board it's much better measure from one end have your first length here then go measure from the other length end and you can just leave the line on both of those you have a much more accurate measurement and you don't have to think about how thick the blade is or what the kerf of the blade is on your cut Back from the builders providers, we got some wall covering, which is this composite roofing. Uh, it should look kind of cool on the on the lower half of that wall. Today we've made very good progress. So the room is finished, the ceiling in the room is finished. The door is all but hung. Uh, we got these architraves and skirting boards, so they'll be going in now. And uh, yeah, we're making progress.
trying to get the sender because we didn't have postcode. I think I'll accept it. And now we come to the don't try this at home section. This is a normal bathroom light fitting. So it's waterproof or water resistant. Right now we're just wiring it into a an extension lead just to make sure it fits, make sure that light fitting works. And then we'll get our electrician friend to wire it in. But don't try this piece at home yourself, please. And don't blame us if you do. I just got a lot of sawdust on the camera. But thankfully we got a camera cleaning kit last week. And Garf is in here so he doesn't have to know. Don't fucking tell Garf. We're nearly done. Time to clean up. And uh, see how it all went down. <laughs>